Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Scotty Yang. Uh, I am the owner and designer of Heights Apparel and this is about my trip to Hawaii. <music> The, the interesting part about visiting Kauai was there are roosters everywhere. I mean, all over the island. And this is all over the island, and, I'm, and I believe it's uh, common on the other islands in Hawaii as well. But there are roosters everywhere. And they're just running around, and like they, the locals, they pay no mind to them. Um, even the, one of the rental car guys was joking with me how tourists will come to the island and they'll get in car accidents in their rental car because they see these roosters crossing the road and you know they'll slam on their brakes trying to stop to prevent hit them and, and then they get in the accidents with the rental car and he's just and they they're just so like if it happens it happens you know don't put yourself at risk uh, because of these roosters that basically just walk around in the wild and um, they mind their own business they do their own thing and they're all over the place it's really funny uh, to see and you hear you hear them all over the all over wherever you're walking around you hear them crowing and stuff like that uh, they wake you up in the morning, um, you know, which is nice because it's 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 almost like this weird ironic thing that that these roosters are all over the place and they wake you up really early. Um, it's like a, almost a reminder, a reminder of where you are and what you need to do uh, with your time there in terms of enjoying where you're at and being in that moment. Uh, so it's an interesting little life metaphor that these roosters play uh, for people who visit uh, the island, which was I thought that was pretty cool. Um, the island itself, Kauai, is a little bit more remote, and I, that's what I really liked about it. And once you get away from the airport, um, and where we were staying in Princeville, is about a 50-minute drive uh, from Lihu, uh, which is the main part of the main city of the island, and that's where the airport's at. And you start getting outside of that a little bit more. And that's when you really see, you really start to see that green, that tropical vegetation. Um, it literally feels like you're driving through the middle of a jungle at certain points. And it's so cool. And it's so awesome to have that experience because you really, like, you know, two lane road, and the, the, the vegetation's right up on the shoulder of the road. And you're driving through that. Uh, and it's so amazing that the, the experience of just being through that you really do feel like as my son put put it you really do feel like you're in a Jurassic Park movie which I know that they filmed some of that stuff on that island as well um, which is amazing and in the center of the island is this big mountain which I believe was a, a I don't know if it's an active volcano or was an, a volcano uh, or currently or inactive volcano um, that's like the center of the island and, and then there's just a bunch of green vegetation cities and roads that surround it um, it was so cool and um, you know it's it's pretty nice it's you really get a taste of that tropical environment because 30 seconds it could be raining and then like a half minute to 60 seconds later it's done and the sun's out and the, you really just get to see that what that's like um, in that part of the world which is really neat we spent a lot of time being, we were staying in Princeville, which was amazing, uh, very secluded. We spent a lot of time in the town right next to, it's about a seven minute drive from where we were staying, in you know, Hanalea Bay. I absolutely love Hanalea Bay. It was so cool. This, I don't even know if you could call it a town. I'm sure they call it a town, but it, to me, it felt more like a village. Uh, you know, a single road through it and it's right off this bay that comes in. And I mean, it's everything that you kind of would, you would expect from a, a Hawaiian beach. It, white, fine powder sand. Uh, the water was warm and not, not Arizona, you know, middle of summer swimming pool warm. <laughs> it was a refreshing, cool, and not overly cold like the Pacific. Uh, that you would experience in like an LA beach or something like that and it was clear it was like crystal clear water and we just you know I did some surfing while I was there uh, took advantage of that 
and um, it was a, that was a nice experience. And I had you know have a wife and my son with me, and he get to experience that ocean. And um, it's just cool just to for him to to get to experience this even at a very young age. Um, that we can call upon those memories with him on the beach. There was another beach that was next to the resort where we were staying that I went to myself uh, while my son and my wife were sleeping one day and I woke up early, grabbed my camera, and it's like a little bit of a hike down this trail, which was a really cool little trail down there and like you're, it's all surrounded and covered by trees and then when you get to the bottom of that trail, it literally just, opens up and you're like right there on the ocean um and that was super amazing it, it i did not know what to expect when i was going on the trail and then out of nowhere it just opens up and you're looking at this amazing sunrise with just you can see nothing but ocean and that's all you could see and it was really really neat and there was nobody out there uh and you just took that moment to soak it in uh that that beauty uh that peacefulness that mindfulness um you know shut your eyes and just kind of taking the sounds of you know there's a couple of rocks and took in the sounds of, like the waves just clapping against the rock there the birds uh chirping and a, a rooster here and there on top of that you know and that was those, those are what those moments are about that's why you go to places like hawaii uh, those are the things that you do you need to find that opportunity to recharge the batteries and so i took a lot of i put a lot of value in that and uh i'll never forget some you know a lot of those still images are, are in my mind because of that so it's pretty cool mm -hmm.